Lesson 8b, Neurons. Neurons are the specialized cells capable of creating electrical chemical impulses required for nervous function. These special cells can detect stimulus and then convert that stimulus into an electrical impulse using charged atoms. Specifically, sodium and potassium ions are used for this. These electrical impulses are then carried at tremendous speeds to the central nervous system of the spinal cord and the brain to be processed and interpreted. The central nervous system will determine the correct response for the stimulus. This can require conscious thought or no conscious thought. Voluntary movement that is under a person's conscious control, such as walking, talking, throwing, and playing, belong to the somatic nervous system, SNS. These would be called somatic responses. Nervous responses that do not require conscious thought belong to the autonomic nervous system, ANS. The ANS controls such things as heartbeat, diaphragm movement, peristalsis of the gut, and release of hormones from endocrine glands. All neurons have a cell body that house all the cell's organelles and nuclei. On either side of the neuron, there are branches that receive stimulus or electrical impulses, which are called dendrite. At the other end, the electrical impulses flow out of the neuron. We call these axons. Electrical impulses only flow in one direction with neurons. They always flow from dendrite to axon. There are four types of neurons that make up the nervous system. The sensory neuron that senses stimuli and converts that stimuli into electrochemical impulse so that it can be taken to the central nervous system. We mentioned the examples of photoreceptors, mechanoreceptors, pain receptors, chemoreceptors, and thermoreceptors last day. Those receptors are composed of neuron cells. Typically, sensory neurons have long dendrites and long axons, with their cell bodies found outside the central nervous system of the spinal cord or brain. Next is the internon, which is the neuron found in the spinal cord and the brain. These neurons will relay impulses up the spinal cord to the brain where the electrical impulse will be processed and interpreted. These neurons can vary in length, but their axons and dendrites and cell body all reside entirely in the spinal cord or the brain. Once the electrical impulse has been processed and interpreted, then an autonomic or somatic response may result, and that electrical impulse is sent to the target tissue, organ, or gland via a motor neuron. Motor neurons usually have short dendrites, which means the cell bodies are still in the spinal cord. Their axons, though, may be very long. Motor neurons can have an effect on muscles to move or glands to secrete hormones, so we call the target tissue, organ, or gland the effector. Finally, there are many different types of neurons found in the brain that I have simply called the neurons of the brain. The most common type is a neuron that has multiple axons and dendrites. Most everyone will have heard of nerves, but what are they exactly? A nerve is a collection of similar motor or sensory neurons bundled together to create a thicker band of white fiber. Nerves are found in the peripheral nervous system and not only contain many neurons, but blood vessels and glia cells to nourish and protect them as well.